بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس دا رول آف پلیٹ لیٹس ان دا ہیموسٹیسس ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو اے ویری بریف آؤٹ لک آف دا ویریس ریئیکشنس دیٹ آر انوالو ان دا ہیموسٹیسس اسٹارٹنگ فرام دا ویزو کنسٹرکشن فالوڈ بائی دا فارمیشن آف دا پرائمری ہیموسٹیٹک پلگ دین دیر واز دا فارمیشن آف سیکنڈری ہیموسٹیٹک پلگ اور سیکنڈری پلیٹ لیٹ پلگ and ultimately resulting in the formation of a thrombus. So as you already know that the three main uh, components of the hemostasis, they include the platelets, clotting factors and the endothelium. Today uh, we'll discuss the function of the platelets or the role of the platelets in hemostasis. Platelets, they have a very vital role in the hemostasis because they form the platelet plug and that platelet plug it seals the defect in the endothelium by providing a surface where the platelets they bind together they bind to each other resulting in the activation of the various coagulation factors if we uh, generally speak uh, about uh, we have to uh, look at, at the structure of the platelets the type of the granules constituents of these granules and ultimately the platelet plug formation so uh, first of all as uh, in the previous lecture i told you people about the structure of the platelets platelets they are normally a nucleated cells and have a rounded or a disc shaped structures and these platelets uh, they are uh, formed from or derived from the mega karyocytes in the bone marrow there are two types of the granules in the platelets namely alpha granules and delta granules or dense granules alpha granules uh, if we talk about these granules their constituents they they are important and these constituents they are routinely asked in the ospi examination for example if there is a question from the hemostasis uh, and Uh, a question can be asked of two marks or 1.5 marks write the constituents of the alpha granules write the constituents of the dense granule or the delta granules alpha granules if we talk about their constituents the most important one being the coagulation factor coagulation factor 5 and von willebrand factor apart from these two important coagulation factor they have fibrinogen and they have adhesion molecules for the p selectin on their surface and also few proteins are also present which are involved in the wound healing for example uh, platelet drive growth factor that is denoted as pdgf transforming growth factor beta fibronectin and platelet factor 4 so these are the constituents of alpha granules please make a list of the constituents please make sticky notes and uh, apply them on the concerned section in your books they will be quite helpful especially at the end of your examination uh, during my mphil uh, histopathology examination when i was preparing uh, at that time uh, i kept my robins and the other book ackerman side by side and uh, wherever i get uh, these kinds of uh, questions small question i always wrote them on the sticky notes and apply on the ackerman book so if we talk about the alpha granules i repeat their constituents they include the von willebrand factor coagulation factor 5 uh, then they have fibrinogen there is adhesion molecule for the p selectin some proteins like platelet factor 4 fibronectin transforming growth factor beta and platelet drive growth factor so these were the constituents of alpha granules and when we talk about the constituents of the dense granules which are denoted as delta granules they contain a very important factor that is called as adp and atp adenosine diphosphate and adenosine triphosphate apart from these two important constituents they have calcium epinephrine and serotonin so these are the four or five components of the dense granules alpha granule component they are more important because they are a bit confusing the list is a bit lengthy as compared to the dense granules dense granules they contain adp atp 
then we have calcium serotonin and epinephrine so ultimately the plate, the function of the platelets that is to seal the vascular defect that is see, to seal the endothelial injury uh, with the help of a formation of the platelet plug secondary uh, platelet plug so the reactions uh, which are involved uh, in the formation of these platelet plug how these platelet plugs they are formed so uh, if we talk about these reaction they include the platelet adhesion to the uh, endothelial surface followed by the change in the shape of the platelets then after the platelets they change their shape there occurs a reaction resulting in the release of the contents of the granules that is called as the release reaction and at the end we have a very important function that results in the aggregation of the platelets and it results in the formation of secondary platelet plug so now we'll discuss these reactions in the sequence starting from the adhesion of the platelets till the aggregation of the platelet molecules so no uh, now uh, we'll discuss how uh, the platelets they adhere of the platelets that is mainly uh, derived with the help of this von Willebrand factor this factor it is very important and it serves as a bridge between the platelet surface receptors uh, which are called as glycoprotein 1b receptors and the exposed collagen the co collagen is exposed because there is endothelial injury so this von Willebrand factor it helps in the attachment of the platelets to the uh, collagen with the help of these glycoprotein surface receptors which are called as glycoprotein 1b, 1b receptors uh, they are denoted as gp1b uh, so uh, von willebrand factor and the glycoprotein 1b receptor or the glycoprotein surface receptor they have they have a central role in uh, in the various bleeding disorders for example if there is a deficiency of this glycoprotein 1b receptor it results in a bleeding tendency and that uh, bleeding tendency that is called as bernard solier syndrome this is an mcq what disease occur as a result of deficiency of glycoprotein 1b receptor so the answer is bernard solier syndrome likewise uh, when we move on to the next slides uh, i'll tell you another surface receptor uh, that is glycoprotein 2b3a receptor and the deficiency of that specific receptor it also results in a bleeding disorder that is called as glansman thrombosthenia so another mcq that is important so platelet adhesion they involve the two important pillars von willebrand factor and glycoprotein surface receptor which are denoted as denoted as glycoprotein 1b so this is the picture uh, that shows the glycoprotein 1b receptors and how the platelets they bind to the uh, uh, exposed collagen with the help of the von willebrand factor glycoprotein uh, 1b receptors uh, they are shown as uh, v-shaped structure having green color present on the surface of the platelets and these platelets they are attached to the exposed collagen with the help of von willebrand factor so this is quite important uh, this picture uh, this is quite important uh, if you want to learn the function of the uh, platelets the second important receptor that is also shown in this picture that is glycoprotein 2b3a complex so and the deficiencies of uh, these receptors the diseases uh, uh, caused by the deficiencies of these receptors they are also shown for example glycoprotein 1b deficiency it results in the bernard solier syndrome and the deficiency of glycoprotein 2b and 3a receptor it results in the glansman thrombosthenia uh, later on in the, in the lecture uh, we will discuss the role of glycoprotein 2b 3a complex in the uh, hemostasis so the next slide or the next sequence of the reaction that is the change in the shape of the platelets if you uh, remember the previous lecture uh, and if uh, you try to recall that uh, 
I told you that uh, the shape of the platelets that is disc shaped or rounded structures but when the conformational change occurs this, uh, they attain a flat disc shaped structure having spiky protrusions uh, for your convenience I have uh, added the previous slide also here so uh, you can see the flat uh, so, uh, the flat disc shaped structures uh, with spiky protrusions having the sea urchin like appearance this is the ultimate shape of the platelets when uh, when they get attached to the sub endothelial collagen uh, that is exposed as a result of the endothelial injury so this change in the shape that is accompanied by the alterations in the glycoprotein uh, 2b 3a receptor and this alteration it increases the affinity uh, of this receptor for the fibrinogen and also results in the translocation of the phospholipids to the platelet surface these phospholipids these phospholipids they result in binding of the calcium and serves as a site for the assembly of the coagulation factors so uh, glycoprotein 2b 3a uh, it has a role especially for uh, increasing the affinity of the fibrinogen to the platelet surface the next reaction uh, or the next sequence of the reaction that result uh, release of the uh, granule contents and that uh, re release is called as the release reaction uh, after the platelets they change their shape uh, it results in the secretion of the granule contents and these two events the change in the shape and the release reaction they are together called as activation of the platelets platelet activation is uh, triggered by various factors including thrombin and ADP but thrombin it is more important in activating the platelets thrombin activates the platelet with the help of special G protein receptor that is called as protease activated receptor and uh, this protease activated receptor it is uh, activated by a proteolytic cleavage carried out by the thrombin so thrombin it has a key role in the activation of the platelet I repeat how thrombin activates the platelet thrombin activates the platelet with the help of special type of the G protein receptor that is called as protease activated receptor and this protease activated receptor it is activated uh, by a proteolytic cleavage that is carried out by the thrombin uh, second important factor that result in the activation of the platelet that is ADP the, as you know that ADP adenosine diphosphate that is a component of the dense granules of the platelets so the platelet activation and ADP uh, release it results in the additional uh, activation of the uh, platelets a phenomena that is called as recruitment so uh, when more and more ADP that is released from the platelets more and more platelets they become activated and ultimately when more and more platelets they are activated this phenomena or this uh, uh, you can call this reaction that is called as recruitment of the platelets activated platelets they also produce throm uh, thromboxin A2 that is a potent uh, uh, inducer of the platelet aggregation and here uh, comes the role of the antiplatelet drugs especially the aspirin aspirin it inhibits the cyclooxygenase enzyme and thus it inhibits the platelet aggregation this uh, cyclooxygenase enzyme it is required for the synthesis of thromboxin A2 and as you know thromboxin A2 it is a potent uh, activator or potent inducer of the platelet aggregation uh, so two things are important hai if you consider the release reaction first of all you have to know the role of the thrombin and then the role of the ADP one thing and second important thing is the role of thromboxin A2 so both of these things they act side by side resulting in the activation of the
क्वेश्चन आ जाएगा एम आ सकता है एंटी प्लेटलेट ड्रग्स के बारे में और वो है एस्प्रीन एंड हाउ एस्प्रीन इट काजेज इट इनहेबिट्स द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द प्लेटलेट दैट इज ड्यू टू इनहिबिशन ऑफ द साइक्लो ऑक्सीजनेज इंजाइम और वो साइक्लो ऑक्सीजनेज इंजाइम जो है दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिंथिस ऑफ थ्रोम्बोक्सीनेटू नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट स्टेप इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द प्लेटलेट प्लग दैट इज द प्लेटलेट एग्रीगेशन प्लेटलेट एग्रीगेशन इट अकर्स वंस द प्लेटलेट्स दे आर एक्टिवेटेड द कन्फर्मेशनल चेंज दैट वॉज अचीव्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ ग्लाइको प्रोटीन टू बी थ्री ए रिसेप्टर इट अलाउज द बाइंडिंग ऑफ द फिब्रिनोजन रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू दैट the glycoprotein 2b3 a receptor it uh, increases the affinity of the platelets for the fibrinogen so uh, ab yahan question ar arise kar jayega the deficiency of this glycoprotein 2b3 a receptor it results in the bleeding disorder that is called as glanzman thrombasthenia uh, once the platelets they start aggregating it results in the formation of the platelet plug and it resulting in the activation of further platelets followed by their aggregation uh, sorry followed by their aggregation uh, platelet uh, ultimately once they are aggregated it results in the formation of uh, solid platelet plug uh, that platelet plug it is uh, it is covered by the fibrin fibrin as you know that is the insoluble form and it is dry from the fibrinogen fibrin it uh, creates a meshwork over the platelet plug and further strengthening uh, further gives strength to the platelet aggregation or the platelet plug when there is formation of the fibrin uh, platelet plug it results in the formation of the secondary platelet plug or secondary hemostatic plug and if you remember a picture that i show you yesterday uh that also shows numerous entrapped cells like neutrophils were uh, seen in that picture there were there were red blood cells in that picture uh along with these two types of the cell platelets they are already seen and along with the platelets and these these two types of the cells mm, there was a whole meshwork of the fibrin around uh, these cells and uh, ultimately when this platelet plug that is formed it result in the sealing of the uh, endothelial uh, damage so this was about the role of the platelet i hope you must have understand uh how the platelet works how they are aggregated how they are activated uh, and the various mcq questions um, that i told you uh, as the lecture progresses so uh, in the next lecture we will discuss uh, the role of the coagulation factors in the coagulation cascade how they are important and uh, बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इसके साथ एक और टर्म आ जाएगी कोगुलेशन कैस्केट के साथ यू पीपल कम इन योर रूटीन लाइफ द प्रोथ्रोम्बिन टाइम टाइम पी टी एंड द एक्टिवेटेड पार्शियल थ्रोम्बोप्लास्टिन टाइम ए पी टी टी बड़े कॉमन से टेस्ट हैं आपके इर्द गिर्द कई ऐसे लोग होंगे हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम द लिवर डिजीजेज हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम हार्ट प्रॉब्लम हैविंग स्टेंटिंग ऑफ द हार्ट वाल्व Uh, and they uh, usually undergo a report of this uh, prothrombin time and the activated partial thromboplastin time uh, so ye uh, important hai and we'll discuss it tomorrow inshallah uh, till then uh, take care and allah hafiz